think it's just to, well, one thing would be to not give up. Mm -hmm. Because again, I mean, like right now I have this um, incredible job directing full time every, almost every single day, um, working with tons of interesting people. You know, it's not the sci-fi epic movie that I still hope to make someday. <laughs> it's not yeah. the television series I hope to show run and direct someday, but it, it's, it's an incredibly lucky job right now. Um, and especially during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, and besides that, I'm um, so just not give up because, you know, before making this film, making this film, there's so many times where it was like, can I, will I really ever be a paid director? Like more than a couple once a year, will I ever get to direct more things? Will I, is it worth it to try to be a director? Is it worth it to even try to be in the industry? Even though, of course I like love camera operating and DPing and stuff like that, but it's, it's so it can be so stressful um, to not know when you're going to make money or not. But I guess my advice would be, yeah, just not, don't give up really. Um, and I guess another piece of advice is what we're talking about before was identity. Advice as a writer um, and director is just trying to be as authentic and true to yourself and vulnerable as you can in your writing. Because, yeah. you know, everyone, I heard this from a lot of, you know, professors, other people in the industry, my dad's friends or directors, you know, like that it really does pay to be, to tell your own story, be vulnerable in your own voice. It's scary. It seems cheesy sometimes, but people tend to respond better. And I've heard that. I heard that in, in college when I was in painting class, you know, don't be afraid to be, you know, quote unquote cheesy. Oh, right. AKA yeah, vulnerable, yeah. really vulnerable is what they, what they mean. Yeah. And, um, I absolutely couldn't be vulnerable when I was in my early twenties <laughs> for whatever reason. And it just like, it was like trying to be cool. And some of the things are cool, but the vulnerable, vulnerable part is like makes it, it just helps in every way. It's like one, you're making an art that actually people are going to might help people. Um, you know, it connects people, it may, gives them hope. Um, but it also is, <laughs> generally more entertaining because mm -hmm. it's more real so and it sounds so obvious to me now saying this but it's just funny because i heard it a million times and i at the time i thought being myself was like finding the trippiest concept or thing mm -hmm. oh yeah i still like those things it's just it's just funny it's almost that beginning artist thing um yeah yeah oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean, kind of looking back and seeing how much of my own stuff, there's so much mm -hmm. of myself and I, all these these like really specific, weird experiences <laughs> I, that I had. And I'm like, why do I remember this? And then they yeah. just end up in a script somewhere. I'm like, well, I guess that was it. Like, I was, I was supposed to remember <laughs> this this random yeah. encounter at a grocery store <laughs> for this script or something. It's like, yeah. what? Um, no. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Like, I. I think that's yeah, that's another thing. It's. I guess both those advice for me would be like, don't basically don't be afraid. Like don't, don't give up. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to show yourself. Mm -hmm. And I guess partly like what you're saying too, is I wish I had, there's times I feel like a lot of guys in, or maybe women too in their early twenties or when they're struggling is always like, I'm wasting time. Like I wasted this year. Yeah. I, I never yeah. wrote the script. I never, I wasted time. I, I wasted time with this relationship. I wasted time with this movie. But the great thing about writing is you can just, there's always stuff in that wasted time that becomes like the best stuff. Like it's always the best stuff in those bad times. Like the mundane hard shit that happens in life. That's like, that's what stories really are. Not like when you're like just cruising as like a badass, like successful person. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like no one wants to see that that much. Yeah. Yeah, and the the stick with itness too that you mentioned. I, I've told this story uh, a few times, I think, on this show. But I wrote a script in 2012 mm -hmm. that uh, a feature that might now, hopefully, everybody cross mm -hmm. your fingers, might be <laughs> being made soon. Oh, um, just incredible. randomly, uh, I was hired. <laughs> I was hired on this job, and and then almost ten years later, he was, the guy calls me up. He was like, "Hey, well, let's do rewrites. We got you know, we got people interested." I'm like what <laughs> oh my God. I can't so almost this. a decade yeah. yeah yeah for real um that's amazing. it was just completely insane and it just 
you know, yeah, I mean, you just never, you just don't know. Like you just, that, you, you never know. <laughs> that's totally, that's another, you know, I had been told this a lot. Okay. So I, when I was in film school and I was always, I was, I'm always been a very crafty person and I'm sure you can kind of see that in the short film and kind of the yeah. Oh, yeah. general varieties of stuff I've done. Um, I very hands-on. I love being on set on my feet. I love working with people. Um, but I, and again, I had been told this, but I didn't listen to it, which was if you really want to, you know, you gotta, you gotta write if you want to tell your story. I mean, there's no, it's just, it's just the most simplest thing in the world, but it's like, I kept thinking like, you know what, I'll come across a script. I'll, I'll write eventually. Mm-hmm. I'll write mm-hmm. this eventually, but it really took a few years to get myself to sit down. Then you realize how hard it is, as you know, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I mean, some people it's easier than others, but no matter what it's, it is work and you're using your, a lot of brain power. And you can't be lazy about it. And um, it's just right, right, right. Because like you're saying, like, you just get it written down. Like 10 years later, it could be made. And it's just so, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. And if and if you, if, if I had given up, you know, like, who knows? It's just, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just crazy. To just do it. Yep. 